Start with the two pictures you want to use, a background and then your primary picture. You're going to drop your background into your timeline. Use your main picture and drop it into the picture in picture area. Right click on the picture and click green screen. Click the box that says make parts of the clip transparent. I recommend using a solid color when using your photo. You can decide which color of your photo you want to change. Right now it's black but I just need to click on the green area and it'll change the background. Adjust the transparency so the background becomes more vibrant. Next, click the border tab. Place a check mark next to apply border to the clip. This will give you a nice border around your subject. Next, click text area so you can decide what type of font you want to use. I generally go into the titles and decide on a font. From here you can adjust the font by going into the advanced area. and play around with the font as you see fit. Once it's complete, all you need to do is go to the camera icon and it'll take a snapshot of the photo, which is essentially your thumbnail. You can right click on it to find the area where the thumbnail is located. I always think it's a good idea to have a, a dedicated folder to use for all your thumbnails. That way it's easier when you want to do your, uh, your marketing for your, your videos. And that's the completed uh, thumbnail. Alright, hope this helps. See you later.